things theology, all things theology. We chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hallowed be, cause this is how we do it at all things theology. Yo, grace and peace. Welcome back to an episode of All Things Theology, where this is your host, K Dub. And today, I want to talk about this album that Mike Todd recently released. Um, and one of the issues I have with Mike Todd is much of his projects he wants to do, it really becomes the church's project and they become funded. I mean, this guy literally canceled the sermon and it the, the sermon became this album release party. This isn't the first time he's done this. I mean, we've seen many cringy things from Mike Todd, from the Easter plays and things like that in the past. I mean, who cancels the sermon for your album release party? That's just strange in itself. People come to hear the word of God and, it's, and all they hear is Mike Todd, right? Very strange. I want to get into it because this song right here is just very interesting. Let's let's talk about this one here. Now, this song, I'm assuming is called The Overflow. It's actually based on a sermon Mike Todd did a few months ago, where essentially is if you tithe, God's going to multiply your tithe and get make you more rich. I mean, <laughs> that is a false doctrine of false doctrines, right? Uh, God has nowhere promised that if you give money to a church, then that means you're going to be uh, rich yourself. And so that's what this song is about. You can even see the line right here. Go and get the bag. What's the bag they're talking about? Well, tithing, right? And no, watch the next line. Get the bag, give it back for the Go and get the bag, give it back for the seed to grow. And so here it is, their tithing doctrine right here in, intermingled into the song. And let me just say this, Mike Todd, the, the crew here, all those who participated sonically, this album is top notch. I am not hating because I know that's what you're going to hear. Oh, you just hate. You're a Mike Todd hater. No, we have to examine things biblically. So, so sonically, this is a, a good album, right? If you're just judging it on how it sounds great but we have to as christians be bereans and examine our examination has to go a lot further than that and we have to examine the lyrics as well right not just how something makes a sound and we can bebop to it no listen to the lyrics matter of fact don't just listen to the lyrics listen to what they're pointing you to right because that's huge as well <laughs> lord i'm talking racks that won't fit inside the envelope i mean one of the problems with this song is Outside of just mentioning the Lord's name, which the world does, how is this a Christian song? I mean, you're literally just talking about getting money and <laughs> you're giving to the church to get more money. So your, your reason for giving is greed to get when the Bible says, hey, uh, let our giving uh, be not to get right. Give, you know, freely. And so there's a theological problem with this song as well. I just don't think you should know I'm living in a so what is this? The Elon Musk Tesla? What is this? The I, I don't know these cars, right? But here, the, here they are coming down. <laughs> Nothing says worship to God like coming down in a in a you know supercharged Tesla or something or whatever these new ugly cars are coming out. Sorry, Elon Musk, they're ugly. Um, yeah, how? I mean, what about this is actually worship? And this is one of my problems too that I have with this album release party. It's it's supposed to be about worship. But the constant pointing to is not to Yahweh, not to God, but it's to the artist. I mean, you're going to see that multiple times just in these clips here. Right. And so, yeah, I have it pause just so you can see. I mean, look, look at this. I mean, this looks like BET Awards MTV. I mean, if you wouldn't if I would just play this, you would not you wouldn't have any idea what this is about. Right. So I guess they're coming out in a charger. Um, I can't wait for the free overflow like a money to see. You can see what we do with the sea. Now we got fruit in everybody can see. No, 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 you the word. Oh, yeah. like a bird. Oh. What in the future's going on? I mean, you know, eating the word a a again. You can see the tithing doctrine mixed into this song. Sorry, her face, but you can constantly see the tithing doctrine intermingled into here. That if you know you give, it's going to be multiplied. And it's going to come back to you. They take that verse. It's not speaking about tithing. It's actually speaking about our love, right, for one another. Again, Mike Todd is not equipped to be a teacher, but they're just taking his teachings and intermingling it into the songs. Again, 
again, the, the pointing is to self. It, the pointing is not to God. I mean, just the vibrato of this songs, right? Um, I, this is even tough to talk about because, again, I saw no difference between Kirk Franklin and the BET Awards and what we're seeing here in this song. I mean, I guess we can say uh, this worship event, you know, that, I mean, that's that's what they constantly tell. It's worship. And Mike Todd constantly says he places worship over the sermon. I mean, look at this. <laughs> like, how how is any of this pointing to God? Right. I mean, I'm just c continually asking the question. Right. And then, you, you know, you got to do the guitar solo. Um, <laughs> Yes, you're living in the overflow, right? Uh, again, the overflow is the abundance of money that is coming your way because you're tithing. Um, like I said, visually, no one sonically, it's great. So now Mike Todd's on the scene, right? Let's see what he has to contribute or add to this, right? Yeah, remember, pastor. Let's see the pastoral perspective right here. <laughs> Hey, totally all about God, right? I mean, you got, it's a little about you. Let's just be real. Here's the thing, a Christian desires to point the glory back to God and should be shying away to giving glory to ourselves. And I don't see how anyone can watch this and say, yeah, that was all about God. Well, it's just art. It's just music. Even in our art, we're called to give God the glory. And just in case you say, well, that's only that. I mean, there are multiple songs we can use. I mean, they're even remixing secular songs. I, look, when I was a, when I was not a Christian, I remember this song. Some of you guys remember this song, and I, I look, I get it. I've I've I did it in the past. I I think it's cringy now, um, right? As an artist, I think it's cringy when Christians try to remake secular songs. Uh, this isn't the only one, but we'll show this one here. Yeah, so just that little clip, right? That you know, you gotta remix some little Beyonce, right? Just to show how, how, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, just just how worldly you are. Just how, hey, look, we know how to be like the world too, but make it cool, right? And so uh, this, and this isn't the only time they did it. They also did this song with a TLC. It was a lot cringier, the TLC version, than the Beyonce one. Let me just say that. And so look, I mean, popping out in Tesla cars and just, it's, it's just... <laughs> right, you gotta have all the lights dark, right? Because you know, just gotta set the environment for just the you know the environment of of worship, right? Here, here, here's the thing: as Christians, we don't have the liberty to reinvent the wheel of worship. God has declared very clearly in His Word how we are to worship, giving Him the glory. Songs that are to point to Him, not Mike Todd's sermons. You gotta see the problem right there. They're based on Mike Todd's sermons not necessarily scripture and God takes worship of himself very seriously. So seriously that at one point he decenerated people who worshiped him improperly. Just something to think about. Hope you guys enjoy this video till the next time. Grace and peace. Oh, grace and peace. Thank you for watching another episode of all things theology. If you enjoyed what you heard today, go on and give me a like, 
subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly lives, videos, interactions, exposing false teachers, sharing with you, the viewer, my theological beliefs, things about the culture and the Bible. So if you're here for that, come on and join us. Also, if you would like to support this channel financially, you can do so by becoming a Patreon member or a YouTube member. Links are in the description below. You can see content before it drops. You can also have Q&A sessions with also other Patreon members, YouTube members as well. So if you would like that, hit the description link in below. Happy